Hi guys, welcome to the third attempt at this video. I originally was gonna do liquid latex, but then I didn't have the patience for it, so I decided to try out this scar putty that I got from the Spirit Halloween store. That's why you see this toilet paper, that was for the liquid latex, so ignore it. First, I started out by taking my scar putty and really just trying to get it out of the panel because it is tough. And then um, what I'm doing next is I'm just really uh, molding it around, making it a little bit more softer for me to apply onto my skin. What I found to work was really helpful was to take translucent powder and really just put that on the end of the brush or whatever tool that you have and just put it on my fingers and to use it to blend the scar putty into my skin. What I started off doing was just taking the putty and just putting it down in one singular line and Next, I'll put another line across just to form the basic shape of what I want my scar to be. And there's that second one. I'm just gonna tape it and wrap it around to the other side. And once again, using my translucent powder for my fingers and on my brush just to really mold it and blend it down into my skin. This was pretty cheap um, scar putty that I got from Spirit Halloween, so I don't think it would be the most professional thing if you're trying to do something that's very high notch, but it works out for some cheap Halloween costume. It was really hard to kind of blend the end parts into my skin. It kind of just kept cracking the thinner layer of putty it was on that I had on to the ends. So unfortunately, the blending process for the ends of those was just really hard. I really try to give a at least a little bit um, of a fold for the skin on the inside for the scar, but some of it got blended down, unfortunately. I honestly did not want to go back and fix it. <laughs> I just really wanted to get a feel for what the uh, scar putty was like. I took a while to just blend it down as well. And I'm just taking translucent powder, brushing things off. And next I took a foundation shade that was actually pretty dark for my skin for what it was. I also noticed that the putty had a very red um, tint to it and so it didn't exactly blend, the foundation wouldn't blend in exactly with it that properly. Neither would it blend in that greatly to my skin. And next just took some translucent powder to get rid of that, some of that stick from the foundation. I was not the most happy with how it ended up looking at this point, but I decided to just move on and what I'm starting to do is I'm taking red eyeshadow, darker red, and I'm just putting it in the folds of the basic shape to my scar. Oftentimes a lot of people will try to put black on the inside, but if you're looking at examples of scars and stuff, you'll notice that those aren't true colors. That's usually there. Just having darker reds and stuff on the outside and continue to have your natural colors. Next, what I did is I started by taking some natural colors that are to bruises, such as purples, greens, and blues, and stuff such as that to start creating bruises. Um, this was very unrealistic for me. I used eyeshadow. I didn't have any, like, alcohol activated um, paint, so it didn't really work out as great as I would like to see it. But once again, I'm just trying out a feel for the scar putty. I'm really trying to just work out and blend out all the colors that I put in there. It really did end up in the end to be pretty crazy. And it also really, I feel like, dried out the scar putty and there was a lot more cracks in there than there originally was. Next one I'm taking is I'm taking scab blood and I'm just putting it on the inner corners of the a fake wound. And unfortunately, because that flat other side of the um, scar did blend into my skin, I just decided to follow the basic outline that I already gave myself. And there you have it. The scar putty wasn't that easy, but I think it would be something fun to play around with again.